What is up you guys, Alpha Male here, we're back again with another Castle Clash video. Like every single day, you guys know I gotta post a video for you, you've all been waiting. Um, the other day I posted a video, the best hero in Castle Clash, right? I got tons of different responses, it's been absolutely insane. You all are some crazy people out there, but I love all your explanations. You guys have killed it in that video, you absolutely killed it. You grabbed it, chopped off its throat threw it in the trash like a badass like you killed it right so we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today i've never done one of these i've always done those videos because there's always new heroes that come out and stuff like that but we're gonna be talking about something a little bit more difficult here we're gonna be talking about the best pet in castle clash now this one is a little bit harder because there's so many different pets with so many different abilities um there is a new pet that just came out Yellowfin, right? Yellowfin. I uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing this hero correctly. I my elephant is only level three, but this is also a very strong uh, pet as well, and it has been just this threw off all the pets. Like I probably I'm pretty sure I knew the best pet before this one, but this one kind of threw it off. If you read this one, it's gonna have all mine are level one as of right. Well, not all of them, but this one because it's relatively new. Has a 60% chance to cast a shield lasting 2 seconds on a nearby allied hero with the lowest HP when its hero is attacked. The shield increases dodge rate by 30% and grants immunity to... Let me read what the hell this is saying. Immunity to stun and fear and the cooldown is 4 seconds. This is very, very crazy. Gain 16% of, of assisted heroes attack when pet reaches level 6. That's not level 6. But see, that threw me off because... That's really cool, and the reason why this is uh, I made this video is because it's going to be a little bit more difficult. We're not really on the damage side. I mean, we are. We're trying to see if, like, Draco, right? Draco does a little bit of damage, right? Draco hits people. Uh, Draco has a 40% chance to deal 220% pet attack damage to a random nearby enemy hero and target um, and targets around it when it hero is attacked. Also reduces energy of target heroes by 10. And the cooldown is going to be... 4.5 seconds like this threw me off because that is that's very good as well i mean there's so many different pets with so many different abilities i mean you got even a mini ang over here that's going to be doing work for you reduces damage taken by allied heroes with the lowest hp by 40 percent four through seconds also recovers its hp by 240 percent pet attack and the cooldown is six seconds on mini ang and then you got a little havoc right you got a little havoc over here has a 60 percent chance to deal 200 percent pet attack damage to nearby enemy heroes with the lowest hp when its heroes attacked also reduces targets attack and attack speed by 30 percent four through seconds and the cooldown is five seconds there's so many different options here and i just don't know which one to pick right you even got people like this you got an avr over here has a 65 percent chance to deal 250 percent pet attack damage to a random <laughs> nearby enemy hero and silence it for one second when a hero is attacked and the cooldown is 4.8 seconds so we're going to do something relatively similar with the best hero in castle clash video with the best pet in castle clash video what we're going to be able to do is you guys have to go in the comment section below name one of these heroes and you got to tell me why you got to actually tell me why this pet is the best pet in castle clash now it's a little difficult because all these pets they do multiple things at once it's not if it's attack they shield if it's not shield they're taking off energy like even some of them do like two or three of those at a time it's crazy so you really gotta read the description to see which ones are going to be the best like we even got the celestin over here has a 56 percent chance to deal 320 percent pet attack damage 320% to a nearby enemy hero when a hero attacks. Also removes the target's buff and the cooldown is 5 seconds. So, I mean, there's so many different pets with so many different abilities. So, it's very difficult to pick. Oh, uh, you got a Bublo. The one that's a little bit difficult to pick is the Doom Balloon. Because Doom Balloon does attacks um, and percentage attacks to buildings. But, there... I know it's a little bit difficult, you might think it's difficult because it's not hitting actual heroes, but you gotta remember something. You really, really gotta remember something. You can easily give a good explanation on why he could be the best, right? We do dungeons. You guys all know how crazy the insane dungeons can be. He can be very, very helpful in these dungeons, okay? There's, I don't want to give anyone ideas because I want to see what you guys are going to make up by yourself, but he, you can easily counter anyone that says he cannot be one of the best pets in castle clash and he also increases the damage they take by 10 percent for three seconds so he's doing more than just doing pet attack damage to uh enemy buildings and stuff like that i mean this guy is a monster as well so you can't really say oh no doom balloon because you really can't say doom balloon as well 
But yeah, all these different pets, you guys, I'm very, very curious to see what you all say in the comment section below. Um, I personally think, I don't want to say my answer, but um, I think I have a rough idea on what I personally think the best pet would be in Castle Clash. Uh, other than that, you guys, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the video. We're going to go ahead and finish up these arena turns. Um, my Val Valentina, right? My Valentina is a level 147. I've been using her in the arena. I think it was funny the other day when I evolved her, she was a level 80 and I was using her in the arena and we were actually winning. We weren't necessarily losing, so I was happy about that. This guy that I'm going up against right now is very, very strong. His Ares is in the back, but he has a... Was that... That was a Lady Leo. Okay, he has a Lady Leo, and this guy completely destroyed my asshole with no remorse. You know what remorse is? You know, it's like kind of when you... You, you kind of know you did something bad, so you, you kind of feel a little bit bad, right? I'm assuming... I'm hoping that's the, the definition of remorse. I'm assuming it is. I mean, it sounds correct. Um... Uh, it's a little early in the morning right now, so I really know. But that's really the main reason of it, right? Remorse is when you did something and you you kind of you remorse. You feel you feel a little bit bad. That guy and that guy that right now that I just fought had no remorse. They they they, they touched my asshole and they destroyed it, and they did not have any bad feeling. They're like you know they didn't think in their mind what would I what would happen if I did this to Alpha Male? Would he feel bad? I mean I I don't know because you know I'm just touching his ass this and that. But that's what they did. No remorse and they just went full fledged. Just strong just going for it so um yeah that's that's what happened and this guy's about to do the same thing isn't he he is about to see the same thing he is about to do the uh, he's he did the same thing yep and he did it with no lube this time that guy the fuck was that oh it's just a notification that guy did the absolute same thing dude he uh, i'm gonna go and try to get my shit back because you know what, I don't appreciate what you did to my asshole, okay? Believe it or not, I just don't appreciate it. So what I'm trying to do is, okay, so my asshole, I'm gonna be real with you guys, has been stretched out like this, right? Like this, you know how when you take a picture of a camera when there's no camera, you're just like this? I'm like this right now, okay? I need to get some feeling back, okay? I need to get some feeling back and it's gonna be a while after that arena turn, okay? I gotta go ahead and fix up what's going on with my arena. It's mainly my Valentina's very low as of right now. I have some blessed uh, books that I'm gonna be using, so I'll be back. You know, everyone says the famous lines, I will be back, and I personally will be back to claim the feeling of my asshole again, okay? I need to get that back. But anyways, you guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Um, like I told you guys in the recent video, if you subscribe, you'll get $1,000 in your sock drawer in the morning when you go to work, when you go to school, whatever, when you gotta wake up to go eat breakfast or just get dressed. Someone found $1,000 in their sock drawer and they sent it to me on line chat. I swear to God, I'm gonna start putting these up on the screen. I'm not joking, okay? You guys all know my line chat. You guys all know my Twitter. People are finding money in their sock drawer because they're subscribing. If you don't believe me, try it out, subscribe, and you will see what you will find tomorrow in the morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe once again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, and have an extremely nice day, you guys.